the next one. Okay, so as long as you, I mean, you're there, you can we can go back and review this session. As number well. five. Did you say the answer was A on number five? Yes. Okay. Don't forget to do the problem down in the pod related to the articles, and then go back and review this. Okay. Here to add or subtract radical, you need to simplify these in order to see if you can add them up. So radical 150. So let's just go ahead and uh, simplify that. First we break 150 to prime numbers, right? What's the smallest prime number goes to 150 anyone? Even, so must be uh, 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 prime number. Prime number would be two, right? Uh, okay. But so, so you divide two into one hundred and fifty. What do we get? Half of one hundred and fifty. Seventy-five. Yeah. Half half of one hundred and fifty is seventy-five, right? So what what's the prime number goes to the smallest prime number goes to seventy-five. Three. Three, yeah. So it becomes 25 here. Small prime number goes to 25 is what? Five. Five. So five, five, one. So in this, this is square root. So you have, it looks like 150 consists of two fives, one, two, and one, three. So the two fives are perfectly square, that's good. So 2 and 3 stays under the radical. So square root of 25 would be kind of like the square root of 25 times square root of 6. That's what we have. So 25 would be 5, so it would be 5 radical 6. The part of 150 is perfectly squared, namely 25. That come out as 5. The rest is under the radical. So we're done with the first part. The second part is 3 times square root of 24. So you have to break 24 to each prime numbers now. What's the smallest prime number goes to 24? Anybody? 2. 2. Go from 12. Again, it's 2, 6. 2, 3. 3, 1. So, uh, the square root. So we have 2, 2, 1, 2, and 1, 3 again. So that's how you would break, this, break 24. You break 24 to 2 square times 2 times 3. So this would be square root of 4 times square root of 6. So the part of that, that would become 2 by the 6. The next one? Because the good thing you're not, uh, Vanessa, you're not, uh, Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Turn off the microphone so you don't get back on. Thank you. The next one is 7. Square root of 9, no, 96. So 96, you do something with 96. You break 96 to 5. What's the small prime number goes to 96? Oh, yeah. That would be 2 again, right? Because that's, uh, that's even. You Hello. divide. Yes, please, yes. Hello. Okay, let's read talking. Question? You're listening, go ahead. What's your question? Okay. Okay, we move on. Okay, we have a question on the So the next one is 2 again. So we get 48 divided by 2. The 24. Again, it's 2, which is 12. 2, that would be 6. That would be three, three, one. So here we have one pair here, one pair Hello. here, and then again two and three. I have a question um, on the second part and at the very bottom. Um, I noticed that you you have the um, when we're breaking down how many times it goes, and you have a another another three. You have six two and then three three all the way on the right, and so then. We end up with a six in the radical, but wouldn't three three be nine? Or how, I'm, I'm confused. Okay, you're talking about the square of twenty-four, right? Okay, let's let's take yes. a look. Okay, 
the now break 24 to its prime number, I get two twos, one two, and one three, right? So that would be two twos, one two, and one three. This three was outside the rabbit so hole, carried on all the way. Okay? This was uh, at the beginning with outside the rabbit hole. Did you get two? Did you get three twos? So it should be two over three. I understand, but but we need a pair. We only need a pair, so you need you, you can use this pair. Okay, okay. But three twos are going to help me if it's not cube root or something. It would help me if I was a cube root or something. Okay, so if I had a cube root, you're right. If I had a cube root of a, that would be nice, because then I had. Three two here, and the answer would be just two. Because if this is a cube root, this is two to the power of three. You have one root of uh, three, right? But if this is a square root of a, okay, that that extra two can I cannot use it because I'm now looking at the group of two. I just said group of two, so this would be square root of 4, square root of 2, so part of this would be perfectly square, which is 2, and the other 2 stays under the radical. Does that make sense now? You see the difference? So the root yeah. is important. Do you, you see that, Vanessa? Yes, I do. Okay, good. All right. So, uh, going back to this 96, we have one group of 2 here, one group of 2 here. So this is really is uh, two times two times two times two. You can look at it that way if you want. This is sixteen. Sixteen is perfectly square, but two and three are going to stay under the radical. So that would be seven square root of sixteen, and then square root of six. So that would be seven. That would be four square root of six. So we have a bunch of square root of six now. So if I had uh, 2 square root of 6 plus 3 square root of 6, how many square root of 6 do I have here? This is another example. That would be 5 square root of 6, right? This is just like I have 2x plus 3x is equal to 5x. This would be another example. So in this case, we want to know how many square root of 6 we have. We have 5 square root of 6 minus 6 square root of 6 plus 28 square root of 6. So how many square root of 6 do we have here? It's kind of like a factoring square root of 6 out. So we have 5 minus 6, that gives me minus 1, and then we have 28, add 28 to that, that gives me how many? Twenty-eight minus one would be twenty-seven of them, right? Twenty-seven. Yeah. Right. That would be twenty-seven. That would be twenty twenty-seven square root of six. So it looks like C is the correct answer, not D. D. The positive twenty-seven. So in order to simplify radicals. We just have to break it down to its prime number, we pick up uh, the square root, we pick up how many pairs we have, the cube root, how many, uh, you know, three of a kind you got, and so on. In order to add or subtract radical, you have to break it down at the end to see if you get a lot of like radicals like here, so you can combine them. Could you do, could you uh, add the bottom up again? Can I see how you did that again? Five oh. square root of six. Sure. This is kind of like, uh, factoring uh, radical 6 out. So it would be 5 minus 6 plus 28. Right? 5 minus 6 would be negative 1 plus 28 so it would be 27. Does that make sense? That's 27 of them. 27 radical 6. You see that? Ah, uh, you see that?
I've seen it, but I like the way you did it up above there with the five square root of six minus six because then I took three times two and made six. So that's six with a square root of six plus 28. 28 with the square root of six equals 27 um, with the square root yeah. of six. Right. You're going to split it, so we're going to take these two atoms together, then minus one atom of six, and then minus one atom of six plus 28 atom of six, that gives you 27 atom of six. Okay. Okay. So, all right.